One year after its launch, ChatGPT has garnered over 100 million daily active users. Recently, OpenAI has been buzzing with news about ChatGPT. And the biggest highlight is unveiling of the ChatGPT store on January 10th. You are watching the Analog Vision channel. And today I'll walk you through what the ChatGPT store is, OpenAI's plans for its development, and how you can leverage the new ChatGPT feature. So subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and let's dive into the latest updates from OpenAI. OpenAI has opened new opportunities for developers, allowing them to earn through the ChatGPT platform by selling their own custom GPT agents. The implementation is in its early stages, so it might not be available on your account yet. But if you're a ChatGPT Plus subscriber, then most likely you already have access. To access the GPT store, simply log into your ChatGPT account, click on Explore GPTs on the left, and then you'll see the new GPT store. Various categories showcase lists of GPTs in each, with the note that the global search isn't active yet, and statistics are displayed only in the Featured section. The Trends tab displays the most popular GPTs based on usage statistics, and this information gets updated weekly. For example, you can find GPTs from OpenAI or special ones for copywriting, productivity, analysis and data handling, programming, education, lifestyle, and many diverse models tailored for various needs. There is quick access to any of these categories to search for publicly available GPTs. So the Trends tab will definitely reflect current trends, since conversations with ChatGPT can sometimes go viral, bringing up new topics. If something becomes a trend, it will be reflected in the Trends tab, where the ranking updates weekly based on the most popular GPTs. This allows users to stay informed about the latest trends and innovations in AI, using the most up-to-date and popular tools. Now the question arises, how to create your own GPT? It's straightforward. You need to go to the My GPT section, create a new agent, add individual instructions, initial conversation phrases, and if necessary, upload files. The important finding from my side here is that if you upload some information as a file, ChatGPT will follow it thoroughly. But if you upload the same information in the chat window, then ChatGPT can interpret it however it wants. Head to the settings and click the builder profile in the bottom. You can enable the publication of your name in GPT and add a domain name so that people can find your website. Thus, even if you are not making money with your custom GPT, it can still attract a decent flow of visitors to your website. If people use your GPT and see your URL, it can be a good source of traffic for your business. Just keep in mind that even if you don't earn big money with your custom GPT, it can be a good way to draw attention to your online presence. The question remains, what to create? especially now when there are already numerous models for various tasks. You can try creating something oriented towards real-world, non-digital tasks. Perhaps a smart home companion that has access to all the cameras and devices and can automatically adjust the temperature and turn on the lights when entering the room. Or create a stock market broker agent providing investment advice and capable of managing money automatically through APIs. Another idea is to build a personal trainer, nutritionist or dietitian based on research and AI for workouts, giving dietary advice and counting calories. After appearing in the store, all you have to do is unleash your inner salesman and convincingly tell people how your GPT can solve their problems. The entry barrier is extremely low, meaning that GPT store will be filled with low quality products fairly quickly. And although there are no exact details on monetization yet, OpenAI plans to launch the GPT Builder revenue program in the first quarter. Model creators will receive payment based on user interactions with their GPTs. So it's quite simple to calculate. If you manage to attract just 1% of ChatGPT user base to pay $1 per month for a custom GPT, you could literally earn tens of millions of dollars by the end of this year. Well, these are just assumptions and rough calculations. It's unclear at this point what proportions the revenues will be distributed at. We could fantasize about 70 by 30 like Apple, but most probably much less considering that OpenAI does majority of the work. In any case, there will be some ranking system, so if you truly create something valuable, there is a high chance to earn. However, 
this might be not even the only store of its kind in the future. Coincidence or not, there have been spotted screenshots of Google Bard Advanced. It seems that Bard might also offer its paid version in the future, along with the marketplace for developers. But these are currently just speculations. Moreover, ChatGPT now boasts improved memory. GPT can learn from your chats. If we go back to ChatGPT store and custom GPTs, this significantly expands the possibilities. ChatGPT retains information between conversations, allowing it to provide more relevant answers and gradually improve with each chat. GPT becomes more useful remembering details and preferences. You can control what GPT remembers and your GPT is designed to follow instructions in chats. You can always reset the GPT's memory or disable this feature in the settings. And this is really cool because there are often long conversations with GPT that you would like to refer to in the next conversations. But unfortunately, it was impossible until now. It seems like OpenAI is addressing the issue. And while the ChatGPT store is really cool, it's not the only update from OpenAI. And it shouldn't be looked at in isolation from other updates. ChatGPT Teams, formerly known as Code Entrepreneur, is indeed a significant update from OpenAI and should be considered in conjunction with other updates. Being an entrepreneur myself, ChatGPT Teams provides access to an extended context window of 32,000 characters. This is a significant upgrade over the standard context window, allowing for more detailed and continuous conversations. The mention of a 120,000 character context window limit during Dev Day is intriguing, and it will be very interesting to see when this feature becomes available. Second, safe and secure for business data. A crucial aspect of ChatGPT Teams is its approach to data privacy and security. It does not train on your business data or conversations, ensuring that all the sensitive information remains in the limits of your organization. This makes it a secure workspace for businesses to integrate ChatGPT into their operations. Collaborative features. The platform facilitates easy file sharing, prompts, chats, and data management within the team. This collaboration feature enhances productivity and streamlines the use of ChatGPT in a business environment. Subscription plan. To set up a plan for your team, you simply need to log in to your ChatGPT account and navigate to the Upgrade Plan section. The pricing is set at $25 per user per month, with a minimum of two users totaling $50 per month. The catch here is that the billing is annual, so the total cost of upgrading to the team version is $600 per year. So overall, ChatGPT Teams is an attractive, although pricey, option for businesses to integrate AI into their workflow, especially for those requiring extended interactions and secure data handling. The extended context window alone can significantly enhance the capabilities of ChatGPT for complex and ongoing tasks, making it a powerful tool for both entrepreneurs and businesses. And the news is OpenAI's response to the lawsuit filed by the New York Times. OpenAI claims that their model training methods were legally compliant. They also note that the instances of exact reproduction of existing content, which they refer to as regurgitation, are just rare errors, and the company is actively working to address them. According to them, verbatim copying of texts is a mistake they are striving to correct. OpenAI also points out the New York Times doesn't present the full picture of the situation. The New York Times doesn't present the full picture of the situation. They claim that in their experiment, the New York Times used unusual methods of working with ChatGPT. Specifically, they entered the URLs and the first paragraphs of the articles, which, given the ChatGPT abilities to predict the next words, allowed the model to predict the rest of the text quite accurately. However, According to OpenAI, such an approach to using the model is not standard. Moreover, OpenAI believes that the regurgitations mentioned by the New York Times could have occurred due to old articles being widely spread across many websites. This raises questions about whether the New York Times used specific queries to artificially induce regurgitation, or if they cherry-picked specific examples from a large number of attempts. In my personal opinion, the lawsuit by the New York Times lacks serious grounds. Yeah, it might be more substantial than the other lawsuits filed earlier, but to me it still seems 
that OpenAI's training methods comply with the law on fair use, while the methods used by the New York Times to obtain verbatim copies of their texts appear questionable. And here is an interesting story for you as well. It seems like ChatGPT actively uses OpenAI to generate subtitles. And it looks like it doesn't comply with OpenAI's use policy. So who beats who? That's all. Now OpenAI provides developers with a unique tool for creating, selling and improving GPT models. This is not only a source of income for those who create individual agents, but also an important step towards commercialization of artificial intelligence. And special features like ChatGPT Plus or ChatGPT Teams and essentially limitless applications of ChatGPT only add to the interest. Do you have any ideas about what custom GPT could become super successful in the new store? Share your ideas in the comments. Well, I'm signing off. You've been on the Analog Vision channel. If you watched until this moment, I ask you to subscribe, like the video, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next big thing. Oh, I mean uh, the next video. Bye!